Hi guys, I'm Matt Rayner with Vexus Boats. I'm here to show you today our ADX 180, which is really, I think, one of the more exciting models we build, certainly one of the most versatile models we build. This is obviously a hardcore fishing boat, but it's got a ton of family-friendly features and really can be set up and equipped to do whatever it is your family enjoys on the water. We're standing in the bow of our 180 HS. We've got a couple of different trim levels available. Our 180 LS is here right alongside us today, and you'll notice that's really a, a boat that's centered around having a full carpeted interior, whereas our HS version that we're, we're standing in today has a full foam polyethylene flooring kit in it. Really nice, super clean, easy to navigate throughout the day on the water. So we're gonna start at the bow here of, of the 180, and I think one of the things you'll notice, obviously this is, we're gonna spend a ton of time on the bow. This is where we're fishing. We've got plenty of room for, you know, multiple family members to be fishing alongside one another, or if it's a day where we're out pulling skiers and tubes, you've got just plenty of room you know, for folks here on the front deck without feeling crammed or tight. From a fishing standpoint, you'll notice we've got a, a Minn Kota Tarova trolling motor mounted on this boat, and we have really tried to configure the bow to give us um, some additional storage that, that might be overlooked. So right next to our Humminbird Helix here mounted on the bow, we've got tool storage, and then we've got a nice cubby cutout that's really intended specifically for the pedal style trolling motor that you're gonna see with, you know, with a Tarova or a power drive. So we've got room to slide that up out of the way when it's not necessarily needed. We've also got a ton of storage on this front deck. We've got a very large dry storage box just forward the passenger console, and we've got two boxes forward of the driver's console. The forwardmost box is another dry storage box, whereas the box just in front of the console is a fiberglass insulated plumb to be a bait well, but it will double as a, as a cooler should you decide to use it as one. So again, ton of storage up here. You'll see we've got forward rails mounted on this boat, which allows us to, to run some rod holders and do more trolling. You know, if, if that's something that you should like to do, we've got availability to rig the boat that way. So I'm gonna step down into the cockpit, but before I do, I, I'd be remiss not to mention uh, the automotive style windshield that we have kind of designed specifically for our ADX aluminum series boats. Not only does this windshield do an excellent job of keeping you protected from the elements, but this boat's available with a bimini top. You know, and before I move on, not only is this windshield especially good looking, but it is exceptionally durable and exceptionally strong. It's really a windshield that you're not going to see on boats in this category or at this price point. It's something we're very proud of and a, a really unique part of this design. Stepping down in this cockpit, one thing I, I definitely would want to mention, it serves not only as the step up to the cockpit, but this center rod box is a really awesome feature. We've got room for eight foot rods along the center line. And again, you build boats that are meant for the family, but have a specific focus on fishing. And so we've got a great center rod locker. Our measuring board is integrated into the lid, easy to access. We have got an additional rod box here on the port side. Should you have some longer rods, we can store an eight foot four rod along the port side. Sitting down here at the cockpit, uh, you know, I've mentioned already just, just what a fantastic windshield we have rigged and designed for this boat, uh, but we've got two very large consoles that are made out of fiberglass specifically fit for this boat. Our particular model here that we're showing today has the Revolution package, which includes a stereo, which is a great addition. Again, going back to the versatility of this boat and being able to uh, be a little bit of a chameleon on the water. If you want to fish or you want to pull skiers and tubers, uh, we really feel like this boat's got something for everybody on board. One of the other things that I really like about our setup here at the cockpit is we've got fold-away boxes under both the driver and passenger console, and these are made to accept tackle storage so you could put some Plano boxes in here or it makes another a really good kind of trash box if you've got a day box to keep things out of the way off of the floor and then can empty it out at the end of the day really cool feature that doesn't take any any space up in the cockpit I'm sitting here at the helm at the driver's station and one of the things I really like here obviously we've got a seat that's built on slides so this will slide forward and back it'll rotate side to side I've got a little cubby built here it's a great place for a phone or a wallet car keys, something that uh, uh, you're looking to kind of keep up safe out of the way. You've got a great spot for it there. We've got highly visible gauge cluster just above the steering wheel here and room for your choice of electronics mounted alongside. This boat's outfitted with a, a Humminbird Helix with room to go larger should you desire to. 
cup holders throughout the boat. Obviously, we everybody everybody needs cup holders, tool holders. We've tried to build those into every possible location that made sense. We've also got a really nice, alongside this driver's side of the cockpit, another little shelf built in, which, uh, you know, again, kind of a creature comfort thing. A lot of things you could store there, including tackle that you're using that particular day. And then before we move back, I should mention, we've got a little a tag here on our steering wheel that references our 100 point inspection. Something we take obviously very seriously at Vexus is quality. We intend to over deliver to our, our customers' expectations and our, our 100 point inspection is a big part of that. So this boat has quality checks, not only throughout the fabrication process, but once it gets into final assembly, there literally is 100 points on a check sheet that we make sure are right before this boat goes out the door and is delivered ultimately to your driveway. So kind of getting up, moving back a little bit further rear in our cockpit, I'd mentioned the, the rod storage that we have along the port side and, and another shelf there by the driver's seat, which is really nice. We've got another cutout area for storage, again, further back here on the driver's side of the cockpit, more tool storage, cup holders. Again, we, you know, we really want to make sure that every nook and cranny is, is usable space, and, and we've done a fairly good job of that, I feel like, with this boat. Something else I wanted to hit on while we're here in the cockpit, one of the hallmarks of a, of a Vexus aluminum boat is just that smooth, dry ride, and, and it's, it's, it's complemented so much by all the fiberglass features and engineering that's drilled into this boat. Uh, but with our ADX series, uh, right along this center line, so right where I'm standing, uh, you've got the fuel tank and your trolley motor batteries mounted here in the center line under the floor, which again helps keep this boat from a weight distribution standpoint. We have got it all in the center. This, this is going to make for a very smooth, stable riding boat. Okay, so as we start to look towards this rear casting deck, one thing I wanted to point out is this fiberglass rear jump seat assembly. You know, you hear us talk all the time about the amount of fiberglass glass infused uh, engineering that, that's present in our throughout our AVX and ADX aluminum lineup but that's not just for show and this is a good good example of that these fiberglass jump seats um, not only give you a superior product that's that's got a better finish than what you would see with kind of plastic rotomoted options that are that are more commonly available we've got storage underneath complete with a, a raised lip seal here this again is a fiberglass insulated box this would serve as your cooler should you decide to run that forward box as a, as a bait well like it's been designed to do. Now, the centerpiece of all of this obviously is a, is a tournament grade live well. And again, this is part of this fiberglass rear assembly, if you will, here flanked by the two jump seats. So very large raised seal. This is going to keep your catch very comfortable and feisty until weigh in. Kind of jumping up here to this rear casting platform, again, you'll see not only is there a ton of space here, but another great area to really appreciate this polyethylene flooring and, and kind of how smooth and nice and still got a lot of traction here on this, this rear deck. Again, you've heard me talk quite a bit about just the versatility that this boat gives you. Um, here you'll see not only a seating location, we can, we can take one of these cockpit seats and put it back here on the rear deck if, if we're stationary fishing for a morning or whatever that may be, but you've also got a ski tow. So this is where we're gonna be pulling those skiers and tubers. Again, just got a lot of different functionality to appease just about anybody that's on board. These two storages here, this allows us to access our cranking battery as well as our battery charger is mounted in this port side box. So you've got great access Access to that both inside the boat and outside the boat. Something else we're really excited about here with the 180 HS that I'm standing in today is we have got a 150 horsepower rating on this boat. So it allows your choice of power from 115 all the way up to 150 horsepower for this boat. Or if you're a little more value minded or you're looking to get in a package that a price point is important to you, the LS version of this 180 is a fantastic option and comes with a 115 horsepower motor, plenty of power to get it around. It's also been engineered to accept a kicker. You'll see the kicker bracket installed on this boat for those kind of serious walleye fishermen that, that want to have a kicker, want to do quite a bit of trolling. This boat is set up to handle that. 
Now that we're on the outside of the boat, I, th I thought it'd take a few minutes just to talk about a, another another handful of things that we're especially proud of, one of which being our, our hard case paint process. No better opportunity to see that than on the exterior, right? And so this 180 HS comes with a two-tone paint scheme, and you've got the ability to custom choose you know, what that looks like and, and what your top and bottom color is. Uh, the 180 LS that we mentioned earlier that, that we have on hand today, it's available with a single-tone uh, paint scheme. But I mentioned this, this kicker motor bracket earlier, but I, I wanted to, to be sure and mention the remote drain plug, which is shown here in the splash well. Again, from a convenience standpoint, you're not having to get down on your knees, reach down to, to try to fight a drain plug at a busy ramp. It's all right here with the convenience of a, of a simple dial control. Uh, on the other side of the splash well, you'll notice this is, this is where we keep our, our boarding ladder. So the boarding ladder easily deploys, can be folded down. It's also a good opportunity opportunity for me to again mention, you know, we're committed to trying to exceed our customers' expectations. Some of that comes in the, in the smaller details that are often not noticed, like painting the underside of the lids. So these aluminum lids where you'll notice throughout the boat, all of them have a painted underside look especially clean and, and nice for years to come. So let's talk a little bit about the features of this trailer. First and foremost, I want to mention that this is a C-channel steel frame trailer that we build on site right alongside the hull, meant to match this boat exactly. You'll notice the ultra bright LED lighting here at the rear. We've got a retractable transom tie down strap, integrated guide bunks here along the side. Again, the, the opportunity to build these trailers on site, we are painting the components like the fender here and the trim ring right alongside the boat as it comes through the production process. Uh, we've got some really sharp aluminum wheels that look great and really set this package apart when you're looking at this boat, whether it's at the showroom or at a, at a gas station. Uh, you're going to be proud to be pulling this boat and the trailer is going to serve you well for many, many years. So moving further down, you'll see some more color matched appointments, which again are going to be custom matched to the boat and the color scheme that, that, that you pick out. You'll also notice we've got our spare tire carrier integrated right into the center. Great location for this, it's not in the way. Also up front here, we have got a swing away tongue and an adjustable winch stand. All of this is wrapped in our own polyurea coating that provides this trailer frame. This is not a painted trailer frame that's gonna, that's gonna chip or rust. So that's a pretty quick look at our ADX 180. I appreciate you guys spending some time with us today and would encourage you for more information on this boat as well as our entire lineup of aluminum fiberglass models. Stop in at your local Vexus dealer or visit us online at vexusboats.com.